Young world, what's the deal? It's your boy Original Dion, and today on my YouTube channel, we're talking about the earthquake that just hit California. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications for your boy Young World. Now, as y'all know, I'm in Michigan right now. I fuck with Cali Heavy, man. I fuck with they weed. I fuck with they women. And I fuck with they weather. You know what I'm saying? Your boy fuck with California, man. I fuck with Cali all the way from Oakland down to Los Angeles. You know, I remember going to California when I was younger. In the fucking, uh, like during Christmas. And that shit was sunny. You know, I ain't never, being from Michigan, we used to snow. We used to like. Three feet of snow and all type of bullshit. Six six feet of snow, all type of bullshit. But we used to that. And um, California always was just like a dreamland. That's what it always was like. Like I mean, it just that's just the vibe. It's just like a free type of vibe over in California. You get. But I read an article recently, and um, it just happened on the fourth. Actually, it's, I believe it's like the. Like, what's today, the 6th? Today is July 6th. But I read an article about um, California and shit, and they said they had the biggest earthquake in the past 20 years. A magnitude 6.4. 6.4 magnitude earthquake. Biggest in the past 20 years, and I thought, like, damn. You know, I saw videos and movies and shit of California sliding off the coast, so I just was researching that one because they were talking about the big one won't be long away. Like, and another thing is California has a a monitor, like a monitor for the earthquakes, and this one wasn't caught. Like, they didn't catch this one on the monitor, so I think it's deeper than you know. The system they got set up, I think, is deeper than that. Like, this crack could potentially start something big in California. So, I'm not making this video to scare nobody, but just for the safety of people out there, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all motherfuckers got money, y'all can fly. You know what I'm saying? Get out. But, you know, California means something to some people, and, you know, a lot of people probably not gonna take heed to this message, and they ain't gonna, you know, like, I don't care. You know, and they just gonna live their life, you know, but I feel like California need to watch out for real because that San Andreas Fault is opening. And the fault line in California, it go through a lot of like major, like a lot of people will be affected because it's kind of like on, on a coastal, you know, the people that live higher up. You know, y'all, you, like, closer in the mountains, uh, closer to Nevada, like, you know what I'm saying, Nor northern Nevada, you may be protected, but that fault line literally goes through, you know, the whole California. And it's moving, like, basically, one side, the, the side closest to the United States is going downward. And the side close to the shore is pushing up, you know what I'm saying? And it's open, it's creating a fault line and it's moving. And, you know, global warming, when it rain, all the extra rain, if it rain, you know, California had mudslides, but the sediment in the, like California is, is not as strong, you know what I'm saying? Like say, like a Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Like the soil is, is more, looser so it the fault line is gonna just open and open and open and eventually you know it's gonna be a big earthquake in california and that's gonna be devastating you know and they talked about this and bringers of the dawn like we're gonna have some cataclysms that shake up humanity in the way we look at this shit and i think um california you know, I, it ain't, like I said, it ain't to wish nothing bad on California. I'm just, you know, kind of sending out a prayer for people to be aware. I just want people to be aware because, like I said, they said 
the meter didn't even go off. So people weren't even warned about this earthquake, you know, and it can be deeper than you think like that. Like the whole fucking side. I remember it's a movie with Seth Rogen and them. Um, this is the end. I think it's called This is the End. But it's a movie and they, they be in California, you know, all partying and shit. Then the ground just open up. You know, it's funny. It's like they make they make comedy out of it, satire, whatever you wanna call it, um, parody. They make comedy out of the situation. But that shit real. Like that's a big earthquake. And I just feel like for them to say this the biggest one they had in twenty years and um, you know, I know people care in California, but I don't I really think I think it's a large amount of people who don't care. You know, they just like, I don't care. I still want to move out to Los Angeles. Like, I saw Kawhi Leonard. He signed like a, a four-year contract with the Clippers. Like, you don't, like, you don't think Kelly. As we get closer, you know, in 2020 and all of this, all of this shit, like the world, the energy is shifting, man. It's different portals, like all over the world. I was like, we have a chakra system in our body, but the world got a chakra system too. So it's different portals with energy, you know, getting reactivated as the global consciousness is turning. Like, you know, because Earth spiral up. Like when we, like our universe, we going up. Like it's it's spinning, but it's spinning in an up curve, you know. And as we get higher in consciousness each year, you know, since. The portal in 2012 opened, you know, all of this new information. Each year, it's going to become more prevalent. These portals going to open up, but the weather going to change. It's like, you don't understand what I'm saying, like, on that portal, all that spiritual shit. You're going to see in the weather, you know what I'm saying? At least, like, that's a that's a physical representation that a lot of people can get, you know, but, all right, something going on, you know what I'm saying? Something is going on. And I just want people to be prepared because it's about to be a great migration again to northern states because the northern northern states in the United States will be the most structured, the most strong, the the most stable. You know what I'm saying? And that's why um, they buying Detroit. They buying Detroit up, and you can get houses in Detroit right now for a thousand dollars. We're gonna build in Detroit. Dot com, but it's gonna be a mass migration to the northern states because a lot of coastal cities are gonna get affected by global warming. Like all of the coastal cities in California, the coastal cities, you know, uh, like in Louisiana, the coastal cities in Miami, Florida, you know what I'm saying? That when, once Miami get touched, America is gonna know. That's when, that's when America is gonna be like, Okay, global warming real, you know, when Miami get touched. But other than that, you know, California is just like people believe in it, but then they like, ah, you know what I'm saying? Ah, it ain't affect me yet, you know what I'm saying? That's the vibe. But I feel like we should pay attention more to that. You know, there's nothing we can do as far as like cars and CO two emissions, so that plan is gone like we just gotta what, what we really gotta do is show people the next level of advanced technology because it's all type of free energy technology available like with cars with you know to to completely stop co2 emissions but until they ready to give us that information you know because it's available it's available for, for people to research and reverse engineer you know but until the public, like, on a mass level, ready to integrate that in society, you know, we could just cut out CO2 emissions. So, you know, it's a way to, it's a way to stop it, but naturally, it's going to occur. It's naturally. It's by timing, you know. So, cars and all that, what they saying, like, even though it sped it up, it's not going to slow it down. Like, it's not going to slow it down. If we just stop it right now at the pace, because we are already in it, you know, we are already in it, but we just got to be prepared, you know, because a great change coming to the world, it's going to be a great change come to this world. And, 
a lot of people, you know, know about it. Some people don't. You know, some people have had dreams. You know, y'all have had, like a normal person, you've had a prophetic dream and you've seen something, like, in regards to weather, you know. And that, that happens on this earth. It's happened, like, cities have been sunk, you know. Grant, ground has been moved. People have migrated to higher ground and, you know, restarted. But it's your boy, Yon World. I know I took y'all in a whole nother dimension if you stayed this long, but uh, California earthquake. You know, I'm praying for y'all. I just pray y'all gain the awareness and, and know that the big one, the big one could be closer than you think, you know. So, that fucking fault line is moving. You think something solid, it's always moving. It's moving. It's centimeters, inches, every fucking second. But, y'all stay safe out there. Stay aware. Stay woke. It's your boy, Young World. I'm out. Peace.